from quartz to a solar panel. So you start with the quartz, you've just got your standard block of quartz here, and this is just two silicons in terms of elemental mm -hmm. form, and then an oxygen. So you pop off the oxygen there, and then you get just the silicon. Now this is all chunked up. Yeah. So what you do here is you basically heat it up and further refine it into an ingot. An ingot, and you, do you know the definition? <laughs> And uh, an ingot is? So Google calls it just like a block of gold or silver. Yeah. And this, of course, is silicon. Yes. Yeah. So it's just pure silicon, just a, a yeah. cylinder of For silicon, uh -huh. informally referred to as a solar sausage. <laughs> and in keeping with that same euphemism there, you just slice it up, literally yeah. like a deli ham, yeah. and then you get a wafer. A wafer. Let's see how thin this thing is. So a wafer. Yeah, how many millimeters or microns I think it's measured in, right? You're talking, yeah, <laughs> single digit millimeters or even nanometers yeah. from there. And then once you solder it all together, yeah, then you get a solar cell. Yeah. This one's got a couple fingerprints on it. Yeah. But this is just silver and copper soldered onto it to conduct the electricity throughout the wafer. That's what makes it the solar cell. And it's actually from a very much larger ingot. This exactly. Yeah. And you then seal it in an encapsulant, and then you sandwich it between glass, give it an aluminum frame, and you've got a solar panel.